Hey buddies, it's for New Star, and today we're going to go into our next tutorial, which is basically how to create doors, portals, and little uh, like rooms and all that stuff. Basically, how I created. Uh, let's go to that level, level three. This. So I'm going to create it in a totally new construct, not construct, copper cube. So I have the textures already here, so I'm pretty much good. So I'm going to. Right click, so okay, you're, you're going to basically get something with the cube. This is basically how it's going to be. How to add textures, you click add, and you need to start importing all you want. Um, you can also, you can import models, but it's like basically insert, import a static mesh. Um, Okay, it's yeah, I can't import it because I already have this um, this opened. So I'm going to do a quick basically run through this level to show you what we're going to cover. So we're going to hit publish. We're going to hit run it. Okay, so we're in our room. There's the bed. That's the door. It opens. That's another door. It opens. Um, then we get this type of door. Where it opens up that way. And then our portal with our animated scene. And then Planet Prime. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's exit out there. And I'm going to delete that. I'm going to insert a plane tile count. That basically tells me how many how many polygons I want to put in it. So I want this to be 10, uh, no 30 actually. Yeah, 30 by 30. Repeat texture count three times. Tile count four is fine with me. So there we go. There's the floor. I'm actually going to put a texture on it, so I'm going to put add. I'm going to go to my textures. I'm going to go to a texture, and I'm actually going to search for one that I really kind of like. So I'm going to do this grass texture. I'm going to select it, hit Control Copy, and yes, next time I do another one of these tutorials, I'm going to have the key show program so that you, you know what I'm pressing. So there we go. This will actually become a whole lot easier because in the next uh, version they'll actually have a terrain editor so you won't actually have to spend polygons on doing this. You'll just hit like scene create um, oh what do you call it? A uh, terrain and then start painting textures, which the guy who created it, uh, Nico or whoever, actually finally said that yeah, there is an editor and all that stuff. If you look up the um, Game Maker 3D uh, editor, terrain editor, he said it's going to be a little bit more advanced than that one. So I'm like, cool. So almost done with this. Oops. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's how I do it. Now I'm going to insert a camera. I'm going to go to a first-person camera, and I'm actually going to shrink him. So it's first-person style control, and then. Oops, I keep hitting save. Um, the bounding box is going to be three. So, yeah, sides are going to be three, and then it's going to be just eight, whatever things tall. Insert a cube. Um, 
with that texture. These are going to be the doors. There we go. We move. And then I'm going to copy it and put it there. And then I'm going to add a insert a sphere. And I'm going to put 40. So polygon counts 40. So it's a round ish sphere. I could put a key. Um, and actually, hold on one second. So yeah, I'm going to import a key. So we're going to hit insert static mesh. My downloads, Nintendo 64, golden key, so that's a DK key, add, texture, boom, DK. Now we're going to make it reflective, so solid fake reflectiveness, and That, or you can look for certain chrome textures. I could actually um, open folder. What I can do is I can. Uh, see, I don't exactly know what it's gonna look like. So, okay, so that's our DK key. I'm gonna actually give it a behavior. So it's going to rotate. I'm actually going to recenter it, modify, center it so it's rotating. Hit zero on that. And then I'm going to rotate it so it's like this, but I want it to rotate, I think, this way. There we go, but a little bit faster. You can see it has a reflective mapping on it. So we have to get to the doors. And then get to the key. So I'm actually going to move a little bit lower to the ground. And then what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to add a particle system. You can choose that one or an already made one. Um, And I'm actually going to use the already made one. After this, our open world game may be a DK game. Okay, so the key's on fire. Let's see attributes, coloration, white. A little bit darker. Uh, I think I'll just stick to the fire. It's a fire key. So what we're actually going to do now is I'm going to select the key. Go to behaviors, add another one, and our proximity to something. So we have to be, say, four meter. Oh, let's just set it in meters. So four meters away. Enters radius, the current active camera. Action. What is it going to do? Un it's going to hide or unhide. So basically, it's I got the key. So we're going to make it invisible. Okay, so what are we going to do next? Well, I'm going to insert a 2D overlay item. I'm going to put it right there. And now what I'm going to do is go to attributes. And I'm going to add here. I'm going to go to paint real quick.
and I am going to take out this blue delete it save as DK key PNG yes exit select it say okay I want to aspect ratio it basically says real size we got a key so what do I want this to be? I want this to be invisible and not render the background why do I want that? well once we get the key we're actually going to make that visible so I'm gonna click on the key I best use like not to get like uncertain part a certain in, um, important items you probably want to name them behavior approximately do something hide or unhide so make it invisible select key yes but we also want to unhide or hide something else total visibility make visible select 2d overlay item so when the camera goes through the uh, goes through an open door we have the key so let's deal with the doors right now okay so right now they're in a closed position so what we actually want to do is have I trusty word pad up go to attributes select position and copy it and then you want to paste it now what you want to do is you want to select it to an open position so right there go to position copy and paste okay so what do we want to do now um, we want to go to behaviors I'm going to there we go select this behaviors on proximity to something so I'm gonna say 20 so it's 20 meters away uh, 15 14 current active camera when it enters open up the door action change position and change which C node C node 5 it should already have it selected if you have it selected move it animate it yes okay Oops. and now we want to um, okay so this one's when it's open that one when it's closed okay so yeah we want this one so I'm gonna make sure I got that one okay and then we I want to actually paste the closed variables and there so it's closed but what we want to do now is I'm proximated to something leaves radius 14 animation not set what we want to do is change position of select mesh 5 paste animate yes so it should open now so what we want to do now is modify selection copy behaviors and we actually want to modify selection paste behaviors so we want to delete that code now the variables and we actually want to grab the position closed go to behaviors and find the one where it says leaves radius and paste that and then what we want to do is um, go to attributes move it to where it's going to be open select the position copy it go to behaviors do it where it says enters radius paste it okay, we're in now we're good to go go back to where it says leaves radius so copy that and now paste it so we can put it back into its original area 
So when the camera enters this area, it's going to open up the doors, and then when we leave it, it's going to close the doors, and then when we get into the radius of the key, it's going to delete the key, or make the key invisible, and then give us that HUD. What we also want to do is unhide the um, fire too. Make invisible, select, fire. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go publish. And I'm going to set this to be an executable. 640 by 480, 16-bit, anti-aliasing, vertical synchronization. No idea why we need that. 32-bit, DirectX 9. And let's make this 740. 720? Or 40. There we go. Hit play. Oops. Okay. One one thing. One thing. Okay. Cube 2. Okay. So we did everything right. I just need to... Near to what? The current active camera. Uh, current active. Select. Cube Mesh 2. Make sure you always know what the name is. Cube Mesh 2. Okay. Cube Mesh 1. Okay, um, so I have to do some editing on this. Select Gmesh 2. Select OK. This is Gmesh 1. Select, or you could select current, um, active. You always the current C node. The Q mesh one will do. Select Q mesh one. Okay. Now let's play it. So sorry about that and now they now they open. Ah, the key's not turning invisible. This is what mostly goes on. You need to... Uh, let's make that... 10. Like that. Okay, so door is open, and we now have the key overlay, so we have a key now, and we have our doors, they open, and then they close. So you could do a Donkey Kong type thing with that. And now we're falling. Okay. So that's how to make a door, how to make... Um, I basically get a key so you could basically unlock something, a little fire effect, and a HUD overlay. So hopefully you guys you enjoyed that. Please ask questions down below or email me with the special email I set up or any other tut for any other tutorials that you would like to see. We're in the middle of a Quake 1 to Unreal 1 type FPS shooter and then I'm going to get to a Donkey Kong third person uh, collect items basically you're gonna be uh, you have to unlock the some sort of massive vault area to get to something um, like some sort of like super Donkey Kong special ability or whatever and to do that you need to get 10 magical keys 
Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for the open world. Hopefully, guys, you will enjoy that, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.